with the goal of ending the Israeli-Palestinian conflict in six shows. <laughs> Show. <laughs> when I first got here, first thing that I had to learn was uh, how to use a telephone. Yeah, and I'm not talking about the buttons and gadgets and things like that. I'm talking about how to use a telephone. Yeah, because when I first got mine, I was like, hello? Yeah, listen, I can't talk to you right now. I'm on a bus. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'll call you when I get home, okay? Great, thanks, bye. <laughs> yeah, that changed. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Now I'm like, Oh! Oh, huh? Look at that, huh? Hey, hey, look, I need you. I need you to call my mom. <laughs> Ken, Ken, I'm shot, Ken! I said, oh, is that a mistake? We're called the Israeli-Palestinian Comedy Tour when we're in Israel. And when we're in the United States, we're three Jews and an Arab. <laughs> when we're in the West Bank, it's Ray Hanania and the three hostages. <laughs> and in the Gaza Strip, it's the four hostages. <laughs> I'm the firstborn son of a manic, depressive Italian woman and a pathologically silent Irishman. This makes me wildly emotional in a very quiet way. I look calm, I'm just going nuts on the inside. No, you know, it's actually now. See, I'm, I'm actually a Jew by choice, as opposed to most of you who had no choice. And of course, when, whenever, when, uh, you know, when people uh, meet me and they find out I'm a convert, they always, you know, the first question is, of course, why? By which I, I know I know what you really mean. When you say why, what you really mean is, what's wrong with you? <laughs> <laughs> you didn't have enough trouble. <laughs> First few times I drove up to a checkpoint, I rolled down the window, threw out some change, and said, "Right." <laughs> 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 Until they shot at me. <laughs> Yeah, I'm thinking to myself, oh my God, they want to kill me because I don't have a jack We do a lot of uh, Israeli organizations like B'nai B'rith, Hillel, the White House. <laughs> that Israelis take 28 driving lessons? To learn to walk. <laughs> Lesson 12, driving on the curb. <laughs> What's in front is scary enough. Why are you those behind? Close your eyes. Always drive with your eyes closed. <laughs> Recently in Jerusalem, I had a very interesting... I watched the man park, and, and he was obviously handicapped. And then sure enough, he put a handicapped placard in his windshield. But then when he stepped out of the car, and he touched the Holy Land of Israel, he was healed. <laughs> He had no handicap. I mean, he had been handicapped. I had watched him park. Go. And that's the thing. The, the fundamental lesson of Judaism is that Judaism is fundamentally the world's most obsessive, compulsive book club. Hebrew when I got here. Yeah, Hebrew is a tough language to learn. <coughs> Let me tell you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. English is much easier. English is much shorter. It's more succinct. I mean, you listen to the average Israeli answering his telephone walking down the street. He's like, <laughs> Yeah, translated to English, that's so. <laughs> Christian. I'm a moderate Palestinian Arab. I'm a journalist who's married to a Jew, which 
pretty much explains why I have no friends, okay? <laughs> have you seen this recently? 85% of Israelis believe that the government is corrupt. That means that 15% of the population is completely out of touch with reality. 